Welcome, Dan, to another Facebook Live. How are we? Very good, Paul. How are you? Yeah, doing well. Just got back from a run, actually, and uh, feels good to have a little bit of a sweat. Good man. It's pretty chilly out there. It is, but the sun's coming out. And it's going to be an absolute ripper today. I can't wait to get my uh, nine burpees out later on. Should be a winner. How's your morning been? Yeah, good. Just hanging out with clients and uh, looking forward to a big afternoon, um, getting out there in the sun too. Yeah, beautiful. Loving it. So uh, for, for those of you who haven't joined us before, uh, Daniel and I are getting together um, at least on a weekly basis to discuss topics that have stemmed from questions that we've been asked uh, in this group and it's given us pause to to really reflect on our own experiences and challenges when it comes to you know what challenges we've been up against and how we've navigated them and we just thought it would be a really uh, great kind of platform to to share our experiences with you and if you have any further questions you're welcome to just continue to to ask them and also just offer any advice that you have as well this is all about um, having a really, really open dialogue amongst dads and sharing our vulnerabilities and helping each other out where we can. So um, today's question stems from somebody who was really time poor. I mean, like super time poor. And this is back, he asked the question when gyms were open for business. And, uh, you know, he, he said uh, the only feasible time he could see himself going to the gym was at 3 a.m. And, uh, you know, he put on uh, some weight and he uh, had really, really struggled to just, he was getting anxious in my mind, getting anxious about how he would fit exercise into his day. And it gave me some, some moments to have a little bit of a think about um, what exercise means in general, how we as a society kind of um, value exercise and, and look at it and how it can be looked in, in different ways. Uh, anything you want to add there, Dan? Um, no, I'm just excited to explore this topic of how to, I guess, rig your environment to make exercise, eating well, living healthy, um, easy and effortless. Um, I think it can be a challenging thing to navigate, especially alone. So it's great that we can connect in this way and just share some breakthroughs and some ideas and some things that we've both brought to our lives to make it possible to get the most out of our day, get the most out of you know each moment because each moment is so important. And um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to exploring different ways that I know for myself, um, I've made it possible to just train, eat and live a, a healthy lifestyle, even though every day is uh, quite busy and completely unpredictable. So it's basically how to make something predictable in an unpredictable day to day life that I'm sure we're all living. Yeah, I love that. And, and you're spot on. Like if you if you don't plan things out, you're just playing the guessing game and you're playing by. Uh, you're playing catch up constantly. You're playing by uh, the uh, complete chances rules. And if you can override that algorithm by creating a little bit of foresight and planning triggers out in front of you uh, visually, emotionally, to be able to get the, the most productivity out of yourself, to me, that's uh, just putting so many positive steps ahead of uh, where you could be. So I wanted to really quickly discuss the concept, a couple of concepts. One is the, the concept of what NEAT is. And NEAT is, um, is, is a concept which is broken down to non-exercise attributed thermogenesis. Now, we've talked about this before in the past, and it's a really powerful tool to be able to get exercise it, at, throughout times in the day where you just didn't think it could exist. And to me, um, NEAT comes in many different ways, faces, shapes. And I'm just going to give you an example of how I use NEAT in my own uh, day. Um, for me, when I am putting the kettle on to have a cup of tea or topping up my coffee, I'll just get down into a squat and do, uh, you know, some hip 
rotations and stretches. And that's just time. That's, that's 30 seconds uh, that I have just kind of given to my hips that I wouldn't have had in the past. Might seem ridiculous, but I'll tell you what, you do that enough times, you've got to have a lot of tea, but you do that enough times and your hips are going to thank you for it. And that's a, that, that's a big, big, powerful uh, step. Another thing we, we also do, Dan, I know you and I always do it because um, I, I hear you um, when we're on our meetings on our phones, we are always walking around the block when we are talking on the phone. I don't know if I, if I stole that from you, if you were going to say it in the, in the, uh, in your bit, but, um, you know, um, that, that, that's a big one. And I borrowed that from you because, uh, you inspired me to do that every single time. If we don't absolutely need our computers in front of us, get out there into nature, get some fresh air, walk around the block and, uh, get some vitamin D, which is so unbelievably uh, important for, um, you know, understanding the way our body and our biology works. Um, so there are a couple of things. One last thing that just came to mind, which uh, once again seems kind of not super important, but added together can be so important. Anytime you need to do an errand, anytime you need to go shopping with your groceries, make it inconvenient for yourself. Park in an inconvenient location. Don't look for the spot that is, you know, designated for uh, people who are, you know, have babies or for people who, um, you know, are the elderly. You know, give it to the elderly. They deserve it. <laughs> um, you know, make it challenging for yourself because that is, uh, going, that's just going to add so much more. A little bit of healthy stress in times where it didn't exist can just add so much more to your life. Yeah, that's awesome, Paulie. And all these things that you're saying are really simple to implement. And I think that's what's most important. It's like to rig your environment means to have things available to you. So it just makes things easy. So if in like within arm's reach, I have a resistance band here. I've got a drink bottle here. I've got, you know, papers everywhere that are close to me. So, you know, it's all within arm's reach. I've got a foam roller just there. I've got a chair that I'm sitting on that I like to do some dips and some incline, decline push-ups as well. As Paulie mentioned, I think working and talking on the phone um, and walking is just a beautiful combination. So I try and do as, as much as that as I really can because it just adds exercise in my day, but it's not something that I'm really so conscious of. It's just something that I do. And all of a sudden there might be 10,000 steps, 15,000 steps, 20,000 steps. And I've accomplished so much in so many ways. And I think combining things is a really powerful way to get the most out of, you know, each day that we have. So um, some of the things that you suggested, Paulie, were, were really good. And just, you know, from my experience with bringing breathing techniques into my life, really since we did that breathing challenge in March, um, when I'm waiting for the kettle to boil, it's just an opportunity to put a two minute timer on my phone and just do uh, various different breathing techniques. Because this is like, it, it can seem like it's dead time, but it's actually really valuable time. We're just mm -hmm. standing there, we're just sitting there, we're maybe just waiting. We can be consumed with thinking about doing things or we can actually just do it. And I think um, that's just a beautiful phrase. I think it's someone uses this, just do it. Um, so <laughs> I feel like it's just super important to, um, to just you know, extract um, the most value out of each moment that we can. I love that, Dan. And, you know, to like to, to think of, the time that you talked about with the kettle is you can either look at this time as dead time or it's the most, the opposite. It's the most valuable time you could think of because you're actually resurrecting time. You've actually, you know, you, you've actually taken dead time and made it productive time. So it's like time squared. It's uh, it's a, it's a pretty uh, powerful way to look at it. And, you know, I'd, I'd recommend, and I, I've actually sat down and I've done this, I've assessed, taken inventory of my day and th thought about what are the most predictable times that I have dead time and how can I think about them and use triggers to resurrect it and make it time squared. 
which is uh, which is a super. Um, it it just opens up space and time for us all. You also have your surfboard there, so whenever whenever there's swells out, you can just kind of jump straight on, which is uh, which is good. Definitely, and especially now that in Melbourne they've just opened up um, a surf wave pool uh, close yeah. to the there uh, it surfs up every day i think they just reopened so i'm looking forward to getting back there pretty soon it's quite an amazing have you used that? yeah is it yeah. epic i hear i hear amazing things about it it's it's totally amazing i think i got some photos that i can post please do um i wanted to take you guys i wanted to take you guys through um i suppose where i am as well you know dan shared um what it is that he has around his, his workstation that, that has benefited him well i'm in a situation where i'm actually working out the back of my parents house and this is um during the COVID situation where i've been lucky enough to have like my own entrance here where i can really just jump on in and i set up my own environment and I'm going to take you on a little bit of a uh, tour. This is my <laughs> this is my my sister's old bedroom, and you know the reason the reason I'm doing this is because I've actually set this room up so it can actually benefit me. I know there's a treadmill in my parents' place because I'm luck I'm lucky enough to be able to use that, but I also know that I'm only going to be able to use it if I set reminders up for myself. So I have a pair of runners there that are just always looking at me and quietly judging me if I don't use them. And I also have a pair of shorts and a singlet right there drying on the uh, bed in the sunlight from the sweat I just used them <laughs> with just earlier on. Is that the most hygienic way to go about it? No, I probably would choose to go and put them in the wash, but I know that if putting them, and obviously I do that every couple of days, but, <laughs> but, but putting them straight out there is just once again, a constant reminder. I just want to share one last thing with you that uh, is pretty cool that I've just reappropriated. My, here we go. I have uh, like a, set here that I do I, 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 and I do pull-ups uh, on that that thing every 20 minutes or so and the reason I do that is because it gives me time and rest for rest and recovery from uh, my work every 20 minutes just to clear my head um, I'll either choose to go for a walk around the block or I'll uh, do a series of pull-ups or push-ups and, uh, you know, it just gives me time to be able to refocus and come back to uh, the workstation with a little bit of a reinvigorated focus. And that's something that I recommend anyone can do, especially now that we're not in our offices and we're actually forced to be at our homes. You don't have to worry about looking like, you know, whatever in front of your colleagues because uh, the, the only person that is going to be watching you is yourself. So you have a perfect opportunity to be able to rid your environment um, and just think laterally. I mean, that's all I've done. I haven't, I haven't actually purchased any material here. Um, I, I've just thought about ways that I can rig my environment to be able to serve me throughout the working day. Nice work, mate. Love it. Thanks for the tour. <laughs> Pleasure. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there are a few little tidbits that I hope we were able to uh, help you with, uh, give you some insight and some inspiration to be able to get to your house and uh, uh, do your bit as well. So, uh, Dan, anything else to add, mate? No, just looking forward to continuing on these conversations. If anyone's got any questions or topics, that would be good to, to hear about. Let us know. Uh, I'd love to hear also the ways that you bring NEAT into your life. Um, I think we're using this group really to support each other. Um, so everyone's contributions are so important. So we'd love to hear from you. Perfect. Well done, guys. And uh, we will see you very shortly. Thanks, Cheers. Dan. Thanks, Polly.
Hey guys, I just wanted to take a moment to talk to you about some friends of Hero. No matter what your postcode, part and parcel deliver on an ethically curated selection of healthy household staples at close to wholesale prices. So whether it's the knowledge that your olive oil has been cold pressed to maintain its antioxidant properties, or that your flour has been stone ground to retain its nutrients, they empower their members to make confident choices. Now, if this all sounds appealing to you, Part and Parcel is offering a 30-day free trial, and you can use the link below to get $25 off your first order. It's time to put your money where your values are.